we are starting here solid state first chapter of our chemistry 12th standard we have to understand here whatever substances we are having around us they exist in solid state liquid state gas state and we have two more states here but mainly we have according to our syllabus we have to cover solid liquid and gas gas we had already taken in 11th standard liquid state little bit we had in uh, 11th standard now we'll be taking in physics chapter so solid state basically we are coming here what the solid state indicate and what do we have to read in this chapter scientists they say that all the substances which are existing in solid state what it indicates what's the meaning of solid state it means like any substance which is made up of any material that material is basically what atom ions or molecules i repeat atom ions or molecules how closely they are associated it means they should be closely packed then only they can result in solid state so those type of substances automatically become very stable and strong that's why we need to study solid state in terms of chemical reactions they are less, less reactive but in solid state also we are having number of characteristics which can help them in making uh, uh, electrical substance or uh, magnetic substance so slowly and slowly we have to deal with those things and we have to understand exactly how those particles are associated particles means we'll keep on talking about constituent particles they are closely packed how are they arranged how are they uh, basically which type of forces of attractions existing between those constituent particles so this we are going to start here from this chapter we'll be getting four marks question and uh, we'll see which way we are going to understand today's class will be having ppt through ppt we'll try to understand that whole thing first of all we'll see today in today's class we'll see that solid substances basically exist in which two forms that is crystalline and amorphous form so what is crystalline form and what is amorphous we are going to see through ppt we'll just come here this part which i am going to take just now here these are the characteristics we are going to discuss in detail we have general characteristics of solid state in which we say constituent particles are closely associated how this uh, mass increases and volume that is going to decrease density increases all these things we are going to discuss second part is distinguish between amorphous and crystalline solid so first two things we are going to discuss just now here you will read that exactly what happens in solid state when constituent particles atom ions and molecules they are closely packed due to strong forces of attractions between constituent particles you have to imagine like very strong forces of attraction exist that's why they can only oscillate oscillate means hill sakte hain about their mean position results in solid state these three are characteristics you'll find in uh, lower classes also you have studied they have definite mass volume and shape intermolecular distances are short and they are incompressible and rigid it means you cannot compress those substances so this is repeated thing like you have already discussed next is classification of solid on the basis of arrangement of constituent particles how these constituent particles are arranged on that basis they are, they are going to be classified as crystalline and amorphous crystalline and amorphous we examples are given crystalline you can see sodium chloride now like a uh, kaise usko aap dekh kar ke pehchanoge kaise ki kaun crystalline hai and kaun amorphous hai ye de jo namak chini is tarah ki cheeze aap dekhoge ki uh, solid form mein dikhte rehte hain so that is your crystalline state and jo powder vagera ki tarah ki cheeze honge jisme ki aapko particles ka koi shape nazar nahi aata hai that is remaining as what amorphous next yahan par one is the long range order here and second is we'll short say range order that crystalline and amorphous when, uh, basically uh, long range order and short range order we have to see regular pattern so you need to understand what is long range like order what is regular pattern exactly suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i am taking here constituent particle next row we are having four All Third these are constituent seven. particles arrangement that is going to be shown. How are they arranged? Once again, four and fourth row is four here, 
So this is regular. Next fifth one you will be expecting saying seven. So this is called regular arrangement. It's called long range order, and it remains for uh, 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 yeah, it's more space. You will say more rows. In the case of short range order, it's completely different. Suppose I'm taking first row as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Constituent particles are arranged like this. Second is four. Third is once again three. So this is not maintained four once again and it's maintaining three. Then six. So this is named as what? Short range order. It yes, means they want to get arranged. And later on, they can find an arrangement that is regular. regular. This is repeated, repeated regular one. So it's named as what? Long range order and short range order. Order means discipline. You are understanding that order properly. And in the case of amorphous, what, what happens? We say they show short range order. Short range order, it means they are not properly arranged. Like first we are having suppose seven, second row is six, third is four. And uh, we are not very sure about that fourth one, what is going to take place. So uh, basic difference between crystalline and am amorphous, you will say crystalline substance shows a, a long range order. Order means their arrangement of particles. All these are constituent particles represented by circle. Throughout in chapter, we'll be representing with a circle. So these uh, like each circle indicates constituent particle. So crystalline, we are understanding particles when they are arranged, they are regularly arranged. Means we can understand their pattern. In the case of short range uh, amorphous, we cannot understand that pattern. Now we are coming here. This is given like difference. Difference that is very important. We need to understand here. Like closely we are coming. Crystalline and amorphous, we can check. Sharp melting, shape and melting point. In crystalline substance, you'll find they have proper geometrical shape. And in the case of amorphous, they are irregular shapes and all. In the case of, uh, once again, cleavage property, crystalline substance, they are saying, if we are going to cut with a sharp edge, we get smooth surfaces. Just say, alu ko kata, to alu ko katne ke baad, jo uske surface milte hain, bahut smooth hote hain. Lekin lakadi ko katiega, to uske jo surfaces milenge, wo rough hote hain. So we are saying here, when cut with a sharp edges too, they cut into irregular spaces. Irregular spaces, basically irregular pieces. Just like lakdi ko ab kaatne ke baan, jo do hisse nikal ke aate hain, usko ab aapko lagega ki dono hisse bhot smooth nahi hai, rough hai. Next is heat of fusion. Heat of fusion you will take here. They have definite and characteristic heat of fusion, and uh, means like melting point and all that is fixed. They do not have definite value. Now next is fourth one, anisotropy and nature. Like we for crystalline solid, we say they are anisotropism. You'll remember anisotropism. I am going to explain you in the next slide. Those are slide may I will explain karenge. And either amorphous may isotropic. Isotropic be explain karenge next slide may. Or ek baat aur dhyan deni hai. Nature kaisa hai? Crystalline may ye true solid isko bolte hai, matlab pakka solid. And amorphous may hum log usko jhoota solid karke indicate karte hai. Ya super cool liquid. क्योंकि वो जैसे पाउडर हो गया या ग्लासेस हो गए तो आपको बहुत सॉलिड जैसा दिखता नहीं है सॉफ्ट दिखता है इसके वजह से उसको सूडो सॉलिड बोलते हैं ऑर्डर्ड इन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट पार्टिकल्स लाइक इन द केस ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइन वी से इट शोस लॉन्ग रेंज ऑर्डर उसके लिए हम लोगों ने क्या बोला शॉर्ट रेंज ऑर्डर ये चीज इंडिकेट करने की कोशिश करते हैं कि उस वाले हम ऑफिस में शॉर्ट रेंज ऑर्डर दिखने चाहिए इसके बाद जैसे ये चीज तो हम लोगों ने पहले भी लिया हुआ था पहले स्लाइड में अब ये अब देखो एंड व्हाट इज एनिसोट्रोपिज्म एंड आइसोट्रोपिज्म यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज बॉक्स दिस इज सॉलिड सब्सटेंस एंड इन दिस सॉलिड सब्सटेंस वी आर हैविंग नंबर ऑफ सरफेसेस यू कैन चेक इट हियर यस डोंट फील इट लाइक दिस दैट आई एम यूज्ड टू ऑफ ईटिंग चॉकलेट्स एंड ऑल दिस इज कुरान एंड डब्बा ओके Now you'll find all these surfaces are here. From these surfaces, if angle of reflection remain different, like from suppose I'm going to turn it like this, and if it is going to be from here, angle of reflection differs. From this side, it's differ. So that indicates if angle of reflection or any other characteristics differ from different surfaces, that is called that character is named as anisotropism. But if it is going to be same from all the surfaces. Same means iso. It's reported as isotropism. Hmm. Now, come to 
pseudo order pseudo solid or super cool liquid what the pseudo solid or super cool liquid indicate सूडो सॉलिड मीन्स झूठा सॉलिड देखने को सॉलिड दिख रहा है लेकिन वो फ्लो करता है लिक्विड की तरह उसको सूडो सॉलिड बोले एग्जाम्पल ग्लास है तो दो हमारे क्वेश्चन यहाँ बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट हैं जो कि बोर्ड में आते रहते हैं रीजनिंग फॉर्म में कि कुछ ग्लासेस जो हैं पुराने जमाने के वो मिल्की अपियरेंस देखते हैं मतलब कि जो पचास साल साठ साल पुराने हैं उनका मिल्की अपियरेंस हैं तो उसके बारे में कहा जाता है कि इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लगातार उस पर बारिश होती रहती है एंड हीट रहता है ह्यूमिड एंड टेम्परेचर दे क्रिस्टलाइज जिसकी वजह से वो धुंधला जैसा दिखने लगता है दूसरा क्वेश्चन है कि जैसे पुरानी बिल्डिंग्स जितने भी हैं उसके ग्लासेस जो हैं उसमें साफ दिखता है कि नीचे की तरफ वो मोटा दिखेगा ऊपर की तरफ पतला दिखेगा तो नीचे की तरफ मोटा क्यों दिखा वाई दे इज इट स्लाइट थिकर एट द बॉटम देन द टॉप उसके पीछे रीजन क्या है कि वो फ्लो करता है ग्लासेस फ्लो एट द बॉटम दैट्स वी से अंडर ग्रेविटी तो ये जो लाइन हमने आपको आंसर में दिया है ये लाइन एग्जैक्टली आपको कॉपी में लिखनी है एंड दीज क्वेश्चन दट कीप कमिंग इन द बोर्ड एग्जाम नेक्स्ट आ जाइए आप क्लासीफाई द फॉलोइंग सब्सटेंसेस आर एमोफस क्रिस्टलाइन तो कुछ एग्जांपल्स दिए हुए हैं तो ये ध्यान रखना कि जितने पॉलीमर्स जैसा चीज होगा सबके सब एमोफस सब होंगे पॉलीमर्स जो आप पढ़ के आ रहे हो उसको एंड दूसरे क्वेश्चन ऐसे आपको थोड़े जन अवेयरनेस के लिए है कि जिस सब्सटेंस का रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ सॉलिड इज ऑब्जर्व टू हैव सेम वैल्यू ऑल द डायरेक्शन उस कमेंट द नेचर ऑफ द सॉलिड व्हाट इट शोड क्लीवेज प्रॉपर्टी आप एनिसो डब्बा वाला जो हमने दिखाया था एनिसो ट्रॉपिज्म एंड आइसोट्रॉपिज्म का जिसका सब जगह से रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स यानी एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन सेम होता है वो आइसोट्रॉपिज्म होता है सो so नेचुरली ये भी क्या कहलाएगा आइसोट्रॉपिज्म और उसके नेचर क्या होंगे ये तो हम लोगों ने बताया आइसोट्रॉपिज्म एंड वुड इट शो क्लीवेज प्रॉपर्टी आपको जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लिखाए थे उसमें एनिसोट्रॉपिज्म दिखा रहा था क्लीवेज प्रॉपर्टी क्लीवेज प्रॉपर्टी का मतलब वही काटने के बाद स्मूथ सर्फेसेस जो आते हैं तो ये आपका आइसोट्रॉपिज्म है तो ये क्लीवेज प्रॉपर्टी नहीं दिखाएगा तो ये आज के लिए हम लोग इतना ही रखेंगे नेक्स्ट टमोरो विल सी नेक्स्ट क्लास आई एल बी सेंडिंग यू हाउ दीज क्रिस्लाइन सब्सटेंसेस they are arranged or they are classified on the basis of type of intermolecular forces of attraction present between them okay thank you